Hi guys, Sarah the Northwood Stitcher here. I'm filming from China, Maine. I'm really excited because I'm going to be going to a couple of retreats fairly shortly and I'll be doing some traveling. So what I'm trying to do is film a whole bunch of videos to get them pre-posted for release while I'm gone. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. If you do see a video and you comment and it's radio silent, it's because I'm not enabled to respond to my comments, but I will when I get back. And it's not just because of the retreats, it's because I'm going to be going to Germany. So I'm really excited about that. I have a whole bunch of stuff to show you, so I don't feel like I'm ever going to run out of material. I have a list in front of me, so hopefully I'll stick to script. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys. I've got uh, a finish. If you remember in a previous video, I collected a whole bunch of placemats from Goodwill, and I don't use a sewing machine. I'm afraid of them. I have one, and I still am afraid to use it. So I stitched all this by hand, but this is my first project bag, and I actually, I should have put a handle in it, but I didn't know how well it would go. It went really well. So I have a nice green zipper to match the green in my placemat project bag. This was four layers of fabric, plus the zipper and spots to stitch through. So this took me four days because the first two days I did the zipper on both sides and one edge. Then I had to give my poor fingers a break. They're still kind of sore. And then I stitched the last two sides and I just followed the current um, stitch line that was already in the placemat. But it was still very painful to do. And I didn't have the right kind of thimble or finger protection. I, I really wanted those silicone thimbles and I didn't have any. And I was just overexcited to actually do this. So hopefully I'll do another one with the different placemat set that I have, which is more of a fall motif. If I remember, there's a, a pumpkin and I think a squirrel on it. Maybe that's thinner. We'll see how that goes. But I'm really excited to put some Christmas stuff in this. So that was one thing on the list. Oh, and I wanted to show you in preparation for the retreats that I'm going to, I'm going to go to the library uh, retreat, library stitchers retreat here in Augusta. And then I'm going to be going to, um, ah, don't fall. I'm going to be going to a retreat at Lakeside Stitches. It's going to fall anyway. So a retreat at Lakeside Stitches in Greenville, Maine. That's a three day event. Library retreat is two days. So two, three, and then one. And then I think it's in June, there's Stitch Maine, and that's in Hollowell, and I'm doing that one as well. So I'm really excited about it. But in celebration of going to some retreats, I gave myself an excuse to buy a new project bag, like to carry things in. <laughs> so I, I blame Spools on this, but I think her new nickname's gonna be M17, story to follow. Um, she wanted a zipper top. And I thought, well, I have a couple of zipper tops. And I thought, maybe I need a new one. So I went and found this nice zipper top tote on Amazon. It's waterproof, which is great if it ever rains. It's got 13 exterior pockets. A great place for my water bottle. A great place for, I don't know. But 13 exterior pockets. Maybe interior and exterior, because there's a whole bunch of pockets on the inside, too. And it's a nice square shape. It says, Top Design. Now, I bought this on Amazon, and I think I paid, I wrote, wrote it down, I paid $33. I think they're on sale right now. And there's a whole bunch of different patterns, too. So if you wanted to search for a new bag, you would search on Amazon under... Uh, what does it say? Top design, utility, water resistant, and bloop, a whole bunch of stuff will pop up before you even put in bag. Um, so that was a great thing to find. So search top design, utility, water resistant, bag, but it'll pop up before then. So while I was looking at those, I found this. It's huge. I love it. And this was 9.99. 
It's got a great zipper. It's very durable. It's the stronger plastic. I know you can actually pick some up that are pretty flimsy, but this one's really strong. Does it have, it doesn't have any brand name on it. It's got great handles, big enough for over the shoulder. I think my wolves will fit in this. It's primarily why I bought it, because the wolves are so big. Plus, if you remember, I'm gonna be framing or scrolling up engraver's chart. So that's an extra wide one too. So the dimensions on this were 19 by 25. And this was also on Amazon for $9.99. I found this by searching, I think project bags. But if you want to find this exact one, you would type in out os, out os, out os, o u t o s, art portfolio bag, out os art portfolio bag. It's a poster board holder, and I know they had a couple of different sizes, but this 19 by 25 is the one that I bought, and it is perfect. So I can't wait to stuff this. I don't know what I'm taking to these retreats. I always take way too many projects and then you end up talking and visiting and less stitching, more socializing, which is fine. So I don't think I'll, I'll probably bring two projects. I really shouldn't overdo it. So that was really cool to get. Oh, and I got some happy mail. I did some shopping on joannes.com, you know, the Joann's Fabrics online, I found out they had anchor spools and I bought, I'm not gonna be able to pull them all up. I bought a whole bunch. <laughs> so I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight white spools. And then I purchased some really cool pumpkin colors. And then I got three of other things. So this is more white, more white. This is a really nice green. That color is 1044. I probably got two of these greens. Yeah, I got two, two greens, so that's six greens in all. So I'm really looking forward to putting these away. I have yet to clean the craft room and I've got company coming in a week. So I got the lecture this morning about, well, he's, he tries to be a cheerleader, but it sounds like a lecture. You gotta go up there and clean. You gotta, these people haven't been here before. They haven't seen your room. You have to clean. Yes, yes. I'm trying, I really am. There's little more than a mouse trail now. And the goal was to get this room clean so I can give you guys a new tour. Also on Joann's, I got some new needles. I got 26, 28, and then some beading needles. So those are always handy to have. And then this was a really good price. I got the um, DMC or the Charles Craft 14 count um, oatmeal. So that'll be handy. I see some prairie schoolers on this and I've been going crazy with buying more prairie schooler. I'll show those. Some are still coming in the mail. And a friend of mine spools or M17 um, sent me an email and said, did you know that Owl Forest Embroidery on their website, they had freebies? Who knew? So I spent a lot of ink printing out some of their freebies and I wanted to share them with you because if you're interested in doing an Owl Forest Embroidery, you can go get one of their free charts and you can print it out. And it's a beautiful chart and very nice. They have the colorized version or black and white. This one is called Pumpkin Color Autumn. That's just gorgeous. So that's printed. Then I got Pretty Pumpkins.
This one will be the first half to do. Cranes. I think I'll bring this to the retreats to match up some fabrics. I'll put this one on top. The Boreal Owl. I love owls. I think that frame is amazing. And I wonder if you couldn't make a frame by adding some different wood motifs to the top, depending on how thick the frame was, because that's really impressive. It reminds me of a Black Forest Cuckoo Clock. <laughs> then there is Spring Hopping. I thought this would look adorable in a hoop. I'm partial to the bunnies. So I think that'll keep me busy for a while. I don't have to go to the retreats, but I just wanted to put a reminder out there. Go to some of your favorite designers websites and type in freebies in their search engines and see if they're offering any freebies. Some of them offer them monthly and some of them, I mean, there are a lot more freebies on the Owl Forest embroidery site than I thought there would be, but I stopped at that because that was a lot. Oh, I have to pause this and grab Miss Mary Mac. So I showed you my frame job for Miss Mary Mac by La Di Da. And I had bought some silver buttons when I was down at Campwell. And these are acrylic, which I'm okay with because they're really, really shiny and you'll see them. So what I did was I put them in, in the frame. Oh, I've got a ding in my frame already. I need to cover that up with some black. So they're all on the bottom with silver buttons, buttons, buttons all down her back. So I thought that was a great eye catcher when it'll be on the wall, you can you can see all the silver buttons. I, I like how that came out. I think it's a cute way to finish it. So now, obviously I have to fix that little Sharpie, fix the little ding in the top, because this will be lower on the wall. Yeah, that works perfectly. And find a home for this. I don't know if I'll keep it. It's kind of dark, so it might be a Halloween thing that I put up. But I might keep it out year-round because it's just such a fun stitch. So that was a final finish. I would finished it, but I wanted to add to it. So I did get to do that. And I also wanted to show you guys, I can't thank you enough for mentioning my wolves. I think my husband's been a little upset lately because I'm not devoting a Wednesday per se. I'm still stitching on something else and I'll do wolf on Thursday, maybe a Friday or part of the day on Saturday. It's not consistent enough for him. So he's getting a little irritated. But I do want to show my progress. This is the gold collection, the guardian. And I have been making some great progress on it. And if you remember, I originally, when I first showed it to you, I was starting and finishing up that corner. So now I'm going across the top and you can see where I'm stopping. I'm gonna go all the way to the edge here. So that whole top will be finished. And then I'll work down in segments to the bottom of the stitch. And it, it is a little bit, mm, probably another two inches are rolled up, but then it'll be done. I think it's two inches. I don't know if I've gone to the full bottom in the section I'm looking at currently. So, and then I'll have all the back stitching to do, which in lots of people's uh, comments, it doesn't need back stitching. It looks real already. Well, can you imagine what this is gonna look like when the back stitching is added? It'll really pop. So I'm excited to have some progress on this. And I, I take a picture of it before I stitch so I can see when I look through my camera pictures what progress I have made, which I, I find useful because then I can have a better, a better feeling about it. <laughs> so I will work on that. I'm gonna finish up that orange, I think, in the next few days. So, I also had 
Well, I hope I brought it up. Where did it go? Ah, I had another finish. But this one only took three days. This is a really fast stitch. I had shown this. This was August 2022, Just Cross Stitch Magazine. And in here was a really sweet stitch that I wanted to do. And it's called Being Busy. And I was reading the chart and I, I was really interested in it because the, the hive is two strands over two squares. And this bee pattern that there's four little bees are done one strand over one square, which I haven't encountered before in a pattern, but I really think it adds to the texture and dimension of the stitch. So I really like how this came out. This is a, a cute little $2 frame that I got from Goodwill. And this was stitched on a 28 count Lugana uh, from Picture This Plus called Ariel. And I just think it's adorable. I've got another little bee stitch downstairs. So I think it's gonna hang up near that one. But what a quick stitch. So three days. I think it's adorable. So that was fun to get done. And then what else? Oh yeah, I wanted to show you guys that whole thing. Where do I have it? I have so many piles of things here. Plenty to show you. So if you remember, I showed you a finish with twisted threads and it was this little one and I made it two-sided. So that was Winter Gingham and Thanksgiving Gingham by Twisted Threads. Now this frame was something I'd gotten at Walmart this past season after Christmas sales. And it was this for $2.50. Yeah, because it's $5. So it's cute. But this is nice depth, and now I know I can do a two-sided thing on it. So I found out that this is going to fit inside that box. So I'm really excited about it. And now the real question is, because if you remember, I did that one, but I also did it on black. So maybe I'll make it two-sided. I don't know. We'll see what happens. That design was from a Just Cross Stitch magazine, August 2023. And it's called Grand Old Flag. So what happened was I opened up the magazine and I was like, oh, I like both. I have to do both. So I did. And then with the tan one, you have to be careful, the white didn't pop. So I actually backstitched every white heart so you could see the white. I think it'll look more dramatic with something behind it. It'll really pull it out. So this will be my next framing job. I don't know when. I have to make a pile of things that I want to get framed. I have a new start. Do you remember my friend Sophia has joined a club and she does the cotton and twine club by historical sampler company. She sent me October 2023 design, which is this really cute winter print or winter chart. I had to start it. That's as far as I've gotten, but it's fun. It's easy and 
I can do it in front of the TV, no problem. And it is a, I think a 16 count Ada. It might be a 14 count, but I'm pretty sure it's 16 count. That was fun to start. What do I have over here? Oh, something else to kit up. That's to kit up. That's to kit up. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get myself into trouble. And then I was also waiting on some floss because if you remember, I started the Lucy Beam Disturbed Women. Now I'm doing it on a Fabrics by Stephanie. It's called Sassanash. This is a 28 count linen. And it calls for Weeks Dye Works Purple Haze and cucumber, the Simply Shaker. I ran out of cucumber, so I ordered a whole bunch of cucumber to finish this. And I should be able to finish this probably within, with everything going on, I guess another week. But I, I like stitching on this and getting this done. But that fabric is just, I love this fabric. And it's, it's less busy than what's in the picture. It's almost too much purple in that one, but with this one, it, it looks teaked enough to be old with still some purple hues in it. So that's really an exciting thing to get going. I don't wanna lose that. I don't wanna lose that. <gasps> and another finish. <clears throat> Where is it? Ah. This one, this has been sitting in my pile of finished stitches that I needed to frame or pillow or do something with. This was another cotton and twine. This is the September 2023 design. And it, they give you the fabric too. This was another gift from my friend Sophia. So I made it into a little pillow. I don't think I'm going to put any little trim around it. I've been I've been playing with it and squeezing it, but I, I think I like this the way it is. I have another Halloween pillow for the couch, and this will just sit in the corner. And I did a cute little um, thing on the back with some felt just to put in my initials, and I've got the um, date of when I actually stitched it, and then I just I did the hole in here and flipped it inside out and covered it up with a little felt doily but i think this is adorable <laughs> so i'm glad that was uh, a completion Boop. i also did a i can't show it to you because i've wrapped it i'm sorry we have at retreats we do smalls exchanges so you stitch up something wrap it up in some sort of wrapping that will give the person the receiver an idea of what the theme is and I've already wrapped mine and I don't, I don't, I don't think I can talk about it because I can't remember what date this video is going to come out. So, <laughs> sorry, but if you bring a small, then that qualifies you to pick a small. So that's what a smalls exchange is. And some people do really big elaborate things, which gives everybody else a complex, but it's a fun thing to do. If you have the time to stitch a small, and gift a small and get one. I've gotten some fantastic things at retreats and I really can't wait to do the exchange again this year. I've got some more happy mail I wanted to show you guys too. Let's see. Oh, and there were some other things I have to make sure that I edit in here. I got onto Stash Unload on Facebook and I found this really cute little uh, print that I hadn't seen before this chart. This was from 2012. It's a Country Cottage Needleworks. It's called Dream Big. It's adorable. I can't wait to stitch this. And there's so many ways to finish this. The carrot has to be a variegated orange, I've decided. They did the carrot in... 
sampler thread pumpkin patch. Is that right? Yeah, pumpkin patch. And they also use baby spinach. I don't know if I need the baby spinach as much as I need the pumpkin patch for that variegation. But the carrot definitely needs to have that variegation. So that was a fun thing to acquire. And when I ordered the cucumber for disturbed women, I needed that extra thread. I went on one, two, three and saw what else was on my wish list that was on sale at the time. And I wasn't gonna let my poor thread travel alone. So I bought <laughs> something on my wish list. This is an oldie but a goodie. What year was this? This is 2020. This is All Hallows Eve by Lila Studio. I think that's really great. All Hallows Eve. And it does call for, it has a DMC conversion, but it's got Gentle Arts, Classic Color Works, and DMC. So this will be fun. It's only a 99 wide by 125 high stitch. I really love that fabric, but I think I have that fabric. So I needed a Halloween chart, like a hole in my head, but that just looked like a fun stitch to do. It's got a bird, a pumpkin, and a cat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then this was eBay. After I did that video with all of my prairie schoolers, I've got some more coming in the mail. This is book number 85. It's called More Friends. I hope I can do it close up. I thought those were wonderful. So it might be hard to read some of the things. Friendship is a sh friendship is a sheltering tree. To have a friend, be a friend. The third one says a small memento left behind recalls an absent friend to mind. Another one says hold a true friend with both your hands. And then the other one, boy, that's a little hard to read. Make new friends. Make new friends, but keep the old. For one is silver and the other gold. That's the house one. So these are gonna be fun to stitch. I have a habit of keeping it in the plastic. I don't know why. There's nothing up here that's wet or gooey. But I will put this in the binder and add it to the list. So this has to be inventoried. Oh, what else? Checking the list, checking the list, checking the list, checking the list. Oh no, there's two pages. <laughs> I got some more happy mail. <laughs> really wanted to do a shout out. When I used to live on Cape Cod, I had a great stitching group down there filled with fabulous people. And my dear friend, Diane, <laughs> she's taken up a new hobby. All of a sudden, she's decided she's a wood burner and she certainly is. So I went to the mail the other day and I opened up the Northwood Stitcher. <laughs> I'm so excited. And she even put like a, she, she's also a carter and a cross stitcher. She's like a triple threat right now. She used a stamp too to stamp on the wood. I can't believe it. So my husband's been going a little nuts over this. He's a little concerned it's not protected. He wants to she'll varnish it or something to protect it. And I'm really excited about this. So it's really great to have. I can't thank you enough, Diane. And you're more brave than I am. I have a wood burning tool and our daughter was playing with it, but I don't think I could do it. So this is just incredible. 
this encourages me to clean up my chaos. Maybe I have to do my filming from a presentation wall and have some of my stitches up, like the Northwood Stitcher cross stitch, which I still haven't hung up. And this, when it's sealed, because my husband says it absolutely has to be protected. He said, what? I, I agree. And then I'm gonna put a hanger on the back and then we'll display it somehow because it's just really cute. I love the needle on it and the trees. So that was quite a shock to get in the mail. I'm like, what's this? It's big. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> also, I wanted to talk about some other stitchers that have been sent to me in emails that I, I just can't get enough of. I love it when people send it, send me things. I make the assumption that I can share them, but I always try to ask, you know, are you okay if I post this? Because I just love sharing what people come up with and how people display their stuff. And I like seeing other people's stitches because it's inspiring me to do something. So my friend Karen out in Michigan, Karen Sierra, S-E-R-R-A, I think it's Karen Sierra. She sent me yet another finish. Well, this was probably a long time ago because she said she was doing some spring cleaning and she found this and did this such a long time ago. She's not sure when. She didn't put a date on it, but she put it in a Longa Burger basket that I think had a date of 97 on it. So I'm going to hopefully show it while I'm talking about it. And it's classic. It's geese, which was really popular back then in the 90s. And geese are coming back. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've seen them everywhere. At the dollar stores, at Target, um, other floss tubers have been showing geese things. So it's such a treasure that she still has this. I don't know why it was put away somewhere. She said she found it when she was spring cleaning. Where did you have it hiding? So I'm glad she's pulled it out and she's using it again. It's just precious. I really like how she finished it in that basket. It makes me want to look for baskets. I used to have a huge collection of baskets. I was forced to pare down when we moved. So I might, I might get that hoarding uh, bug up again to do some more baskets, find some more. I've come up with other uses for them. Like I have these long baskets on my bathroom counter and I like to roll up the washcloths and put them um, either lying on in the basket or upright in the baskets. Keeps them organized better. So that was really fun to see. They're just, geese are not retro anymore. They're coming back. And I think everybody's gonna be stitching them before long. But I think that's really great. And I can't thank you enough, Karen, for sending me stuff. I really enjoyed seeing that. I do, I do, I do. Also, Becky sent me something that she did. We had this long discussion about it. She says, don't talk about that. Okay, fine. So this was a, this is Becky Wharton. And she sent me a Jardine Privé. And I think it was called A La Ferme. Excuse me for butchering French. I don't speak French, but it's called At the Farm. And I love these character animals. I think it's great. I don't often like cartoony characters, but these characters these in this chart, is so they're so endearing. I think they're just wonderful. Each one has a quirky little personality. And she said, pointed out, yeah, we'll stitch them separately and make other things with them. I like them in the column like she did them, but I can't wait to get this chart because I think I need to get it to make different cards and stitch them individually for different ornaments. They're really cute. So that's uh, Jardine Privé's A La Ferma. Ferma? A La Ferma. A La Ferma? Sorry. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> at the farm. That's what I remember. So, and I love the colors in this too. I don't think I'd change anything about it. So that's a fun, fun pattern to have. I showed you All Hallows Eve. I showed you that. I showed you that. I think I did it. I think I did it. I think I did it. Oh, and I can show you the berry stitch. I don't know if you guys remember. I'm working on... This is... A pattern that's on the desk somewhere. 
I will find it for you. This is the Riolas. And I am having trouble with my berry. It's not berry fun. I'm not getting it lined up. So I think that's probably the same progress that I showed you last time. I just need to make a commitment and finish it. But I did get the suggestion from hubby this morning. If you go upstairs and you see a project and you feel the need to start working on it, because, oh, I can just get this done and get it out of the way, put it in one of your boxes and put it aside so you can get some cleaning done. He's so good for me. <laughs> He's absolutely right. <laughs> I get distracted. I, I look at something and I'm like, oh, shiny. <laughs> Maybe that's why I like birds. But it's true, I do need to end this, make this a shorter video rather than a long video, and I do heavy editing sometime. But when I look around me, I am disappointed with the lack of progress that I've made. So I am going to go behave and be good. You guys go forth, create wonderful stitches, happy crafting, happy stitching, and be safe.